Okay, this is week five, number 60, oily feathers. So these are our materials. We've got water in a jug, measuring cup, spoon, glass bowl, oil, which is in a cup with a teaspoon measuring spoon, and detergent, which is also in a cup with a teaspoon measuring spoon. So I'm gonna move those out of the way. Let's do our, let's do our work. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is add one cup of water to our bowl. Not super important to be precise, but always a great thing to be teaching the kids how to do that. All right, now we're gonna add the oil. So one teaspoon of oil. Just gonna pour it in the water. This is a great time for the kids to be observing. It starts off as little bubbles and then the bubbles are coming together. Let's see. You can see that the bubbles um, of oil, they combine and are making larger bubbles of oil. So the longer we watch, the more they will join together. Okay, hopefully you could see that pretty well. Um, so then we're going to add the detergent. So yeah, you could watch that for like a whole minute and see if it makes one big giant bubble if you want to. Then we're gonna add the detergent. We're gonna add two teaspoons. So I'm gonna sprinkle it around and immediately you can see that the oil bubbles are running away. Hang on, let me just, let me just do this where you can see. Let's see if I can make this higher. Sorry. How about this? Oh boy. Okay, I'll just do this. Okay, so we're gonna sprinkle in our two teaspoons. And as we're doing that, you can see that, um, oh, if I dump the soap straight on the oil, it'll actually sink. And then it pops back up though as smaller bubbles. So this is my second teaspoon. I'm gonna tack that big bubble there. So it, it falls down to the bottom, but then it pops back up as smaller bubbles. Do you see those little bitty bubbles forming now? So where the oil was starting off as um, big giant globs together, now they are little bitty bubbles. So once we've done that, we can stir. I wonder if you can see that. I hope you can. Let's see. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna stir. And as I stir, you're stirring really gently because we're not trying to actually make bubbles of soap. So, but as I, I, even just stirring like one time around, there's a ton of little teeny tiny bubbles that have formed. So the molecules of soap attach to the molecules of oil and that's what allows them to mix better with the water um, and make these smaller bubbles. Uh, so what you're talking about today is birds and how they have oil on their feathers, which is what allows them to be waterproof. Like what we saw when we first added the oil, the water rushed away from the oil and the oil was able to make those big globs. And you know, you can show this great picture that's on the back of the CC Connected sheet about oil and water because most of the kids will have seen that and just remind them that oil runs away from water it separates and so that's what makes birds waterproof is that they have oil on their feathers so when soap gets added to uh, water like in lakes and streams and stuff where birds go it can actually make uh, remove the oil from their from their feathers which makes them lose their waterproofness and weighs them down so it allows their feathers to take up water instead of repel water so that makes them weighted down and it's actually um and then it prevents them from being waterproof which is the way god made them so this is all about how pollution and soap sorry <laughs> this camera um soap in our adding soap to the to our water sources is actually kind of not great for birds and things I'm sure the kids will then say, well, why do we take showers and wash it down? And 
Um, I would say city water goes through treatment plants and stuff, but that is why we shouldn't dump waste water into lakes and streams and the ocean um, because of the, all the animals that it could affect. So the second experiment for today is cool. It's very short though. And by the way, to take up time, if you want, you know, the kids could draw pictures of what the oil did. They could draw a picture of a bird. Um, you know, you could show more pictures of animals, um, of birds, whatever. Okay, so the second one is number 61, Tangled. So all you're gonna need for this one is a rubber band. And we are demonstrating what happens to animals when they get caught in trash pollution. Um, so they're gonna, they'll each have a rubber band. They're gonna put the rubber band around their little finger and then behind their hand to their thumb. Okay, and now once they have that, you say, now not using your other hand, maybe put their hand behind their back. Try and get this, try and get this um, rubber band off. And it is really hard. Really, really hard. I haven't sat here and tried to do it for a long time, but just initially I can tell you this is super, super hard. So, you know, let them struggle with that for a while and see if they can do it. Um, but then you can show, show these pictures and I'm going to bring in one of these drink holders so we can talk about it because it will be familiar to all the kids. We can talk about how they can get caught around sea life when they're thrown where they shouldn't be. But also our family, we cut these open before we recycle them or throw them away so that if they did get into the ocean, they couldn't capture an animal. So we open up all the circles that are in there. But these look like jellyfish, but it's actually plastic bags in the ocean. So this is just showing all the different trash that can get put in the ocean. And you know, um, this is just all about, it's all about being aware of where we put our trash and where what happens to the things that we use and trying to make good choices about getting our trash into a trash can and knowing, knowing where it's headed and what effects it can have and what effects humans can have on animals. Um, Cause God does want us to take care of our creation. He gave us, he, he gave us his creation for his glory and for our enjoyment but we are to take care of it. So, um, you know, these are these will all be some great discussions and I'm sure you can find books on, um, you know, pollution that, that has to do with these things. So have fun with this one, guys.